This place, we started six years ago. We started this restaurant basically to be able to provide food that's fresh, that's homemade, like sausages. Making sausages is supposed to be something very traditional, very basic. It's not too complicated. We follow the principle of making the sausages for your family. How you will make the sausages for your family is how we will make the sausages for our customers as well. In that way, we do not compromise on the quality of our sausages, do not compromise on the meat, don't compromise on the ingredients, and of course, there's no preservatives. Basically, for a good sausage, you need good quality meat. So, a cut of meat for sausage, it has to be balanced. It cannot be too lean, it cannot be too fat. So why we use the US pork? In terms of ratio of lean to fat, the pork shoulder is just perfect for making sausages. This is the shoulder cut, what we call the picnic butt. Quality of the US pork is very consistent. It has a very clean, very fresh smell. In terms of consistency in quality, in terms of cutting, the US pork win hands down, definitely. The strips of meat will be mixed with blend of spices. For this recipe, we are using a mix of uh, cumin, black pepper, some smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, coarse grind chilies, and also salt. We will do a coarse grind. We'll grind the sausage together with the spices. This will help with the juice retention. And from there, we proceed to mix it in the mixing machine. Then from there, we will load it into the sausage stuffer, basically pumping the meat into the casings. So this is the pork casing. It's basically the small intestine of the pig that has been thoroughly cleaned. I started selling the sausages on request of friends, family. Then as the wood of homemade sausages grew, more and more people wanted it. So we started selling at flea market. We started to build up a client base. I quit my full-time job at that time and went into it as a full-time business. So basically, all the sausages are made by myself and it still is. So far, it has been quite popular among our customers, so we are thankful for that. The US premium pork chop is the cut of the pork chop that is nearer to the shoulder. So we find this cut of meat is very well balanced. In terms of lean and fat, uh, it is just nice. When there's a balance of lean and fat, the fat will basically keep the meat juicy. And then we will vacuum pack it. So once the pork chop has been uh, vacuum packed, we will let it marinate and then we will sous vide the pork chops for 4 hours minimum and the temperature we use is 59.5 degrees Celsius. After the pork chop is done in the sous vide machine, whenever the order comes in, we will do a high heat sear. So we treat it just like how you would cook a steak and then we will serve it hot. The St. Louis cut of ribs is basically from the middle cut of the spare rib. It is from the best portion of the rib, a very nice looking portion, a very nice looking cut of meat. Uh, you find the olive oil, 
啊去摸一下，啊放一点 dry rub。And with the amount of meat that is on the ribs itself, the San Luis cut is very perfectly balanced because it's not too thin and it's not too thick. Chew 一个 neck 咯，一个 one neck 就可以了。After it has been marinated, we will wrap it and do a slow roast for about three hours. 所以我放一点水。直到一个 wire rack level 就够了，这个就是好了的一个 one overnight marinade 了，一个 dry rub 了。所以我放个 tray， 所以我们烤过这个 rib 咯，然后 fully 烤过就可以了。说好了，我们就放在火那边慢慢煮，小火煮。Then after the slow roasting is done, the meat is uh is tender, it's too juicy. What we'll do is we will glaze it with special glaze that we made in house, and we will finish it on the char broiler. So basically, the char broiler, the last step. Will caramelize the sugars, will fully develop the flavor of the spices on the ribs. Yes, pork has been definitely very consistent. If you compare to any other sources of supply, I would say that the U.S. pork will be the most reliable product in the market that I can find.